Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here with St. Michael Catholic Community for Friday, 28 May. And I'd like to share with you for 240 seconds or less a couple thoughts from today's first lesson for Mass, which is out of the book of Sirach. Sirach is in what Protestants would call the apocryphal books. In other words, they would not recognize them as part of church canon, whereas the Catholics and Orthodox look upon them as part of the Word of God. And Sirach is also called Ecclesiasticus at times. But it's an interesting thing because it, this chapter, because it talks about the whole understanding of legacy. Leader of the band, an old song in the 80s. I'm just a living legacy of the leader of the band and the, and the songwriter. I can't remember his name, but he talked about his father as a music director at a university and how he had an impact on him and his music and who he was as an individual. And all of us have that legacy somewhere. Someone has shaped us. We want it to be a positive legacy, not a negative, of course. And we also have the ability to break the bond of bad legacies. We can choose to live in ways that are reflective of the presence of God in our lives. But it's wonderful to have a legacy, to be a legacy, as it were, of, of people that came before us who were godly, who sought the Lord. And listen to what it says here. This is just fascinating. Now I will praise these godly men those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time. But of others, there is no memory. For when they ceased, they ceased. And they are as though they had not lived, they and their children after them. Yet these also were godly men whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their family endures their posterity for their sake. Isn't that really the way it is normally? I don't know who my great-grandfather was. I have no stories from on either side, really, to speak of, to mention them. But I can't help but wonder if something in their life, some way that they lived, was passed on to me. Who's to say that some sort of a positive influence generations ago had been passed on and passed on and passed on and we don't remember who those people are and you know in two or three generations no one will know who the heck i was but the wonderful thing is that most of us even though we don't become historical figures we leave a mark pray god that it's a positive mark and all the good that we receive from those who came before us may be reflected in those that come after us let's have a word of prayer heavenly father we ask you that we may be a living legacy of you especially and of your influence on those who came before us may we pass that legacy of love peace hope joy and providing comfort for others and compassion and patience may those be the fruits that we pass on to those who will never know us we make our prayer through christ our lord in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit god bless you have a great day have a wonderful memorial day weekend